What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hold your horses for one second here. I'm back up on this roof because I got to do it. There ain't nobody else to do it but me. And this is literally after I finished doing the Dan Salio show. See, I had to run around and I had to pick up some more materials. I had to go to the dump and things. But I made a commitment to be on the Dan Salio show. Um, and so because I made that commitment... I got to follow through on it and it doesn't matter what I got to do because I said I was going to do it. See, when you commit to something, you should do it. To me, if your man ain't got his word, he is a cockroach and that's why I did that and I got to make up for that time right now. So it's not like it's enjoyable either because they literally put a foot in my ass every time. They, they clown me, you know. But it's all right because if the Cowboys can find a way to win against San Francisco and the Eagles, which are underdogs by two and a half points to Cincinnati, find a way to lose, the next week will be a lot more fun. And see, this is where I have a problem with people who make commitments and then don't follow through. And that would be the Cowboys a lot. You know, when you become a player and things, you got to do everything to try and be a champion. When you are the owner of the Dallas Cowboys, you may not like to spend money. You may not want to spend money. You may not want to give up control. But you made a commitment, at least I thought you made a commitment, Jerry, to us fans that you were going to work as hard as possible to win a Super Bowl. I've heard you commit to us that you have made mistakes as a GM, but as the owner and GM, which you're the only one out there that's doing this shit, that you have to be better, you must be better, and you will be better. And I can't honestly say that you're better. I look at this team, and if people say, oh, well, you need to watch Mike Fisher because you'll get the real lowdown of what the Cowboys are doing. I don't think the Cowboys have a clue as what they're doing. I'm afraid that Jerry Jones is the head one in charge and that people will do whatever he says to appease him so you don't get fired. And that's a scary thing because nobody out there has all the answers. Nobody. I don't care how good you are. You have to surround yourselves with people that sometimes don't agree with you. Because, you know, I always say, there's your idea, there's my idea, and somewhere in the middle, we might meet and figure out what's best for both of us. So, right now we're hearing, <laughs> or at least there was an article, uh, one of the talking heads from ESPN was talking about the Cowboys trading Trey Lance. Um, sorry, I can't see anybody trading for Trey Lance. When we look at Devontae Adams going for a third round pick, a guy who's proven, and you look at a project, because people say, trade on Cleveland. They got Jameis Winston, who's better than, than, than Trey Lance. They're looking to get more draft picks, not get rid of them. And that's one of those big failures that somebody should have said to Jerry Jones, Jerry, it's a great idea, but maybe we shouldn't do that one. Or maybe somebody should have said, Jerry, maybe Mike McCarthy's not the right one. 
and you need to start over. Then Royal Cowboy sent me a link to the Cowboys were expected to trade Deuce Vaughn before the trade deadline. And when I saw that one, my first thoughts on that was, trade him for what? You're telling me a running back who really can't get on the field on a team that is the lowest rushing per yard carry, 3.5 in the league, that rushes for less yards than everybody else in the NFL. You're going to tell me that somebody's interested in trading for him? No disrespect to Deuce Vaughn. No disrespect mean it at all. But that's basically fantasy land, fantasy football, where, you know, people say, oh, well, this guy sucks. Just trade him, trade him, trade him, trade him. Reality is making trades in the NFL are hard and getting guys to work out is even harder. So I don't expect anybody to be traded on this team and I don't expect the Cowboys to trade for anybody. This die is cast. The only people that you would get anything for right now that people would be interested in trading for, Terrence Steele, I'm excuse me, not Terrence Steele, Tyler Smith, no, that's a non-starter. C.D. Lamb, with that contract, I'm not sure that that's happening. Dak, you can't. Maybe Jake Ferguson, but then that puts you in a bigger hole. Those are the only people on offense. On defense, maybe Diggs and Micah Parsons. Um, I'm not sure anybody else, you know, maybe some of our young guys, um, you would get a late round pick, but as far as being sellers, we ain't got much to sell. So don't look for reinforcements coming for the Cowboys. It ain't coming. We's all we got. And I need to finish doing some more of this before the sun goes down. But at least it's getting there. It's a getting there. Bit by bit. Shingle by shingle. I'll see you guys back in the main cave in a bit.
Oh, you guys are still here. Well, I did this much today, at least. And I'm working my way up here, so that way I can marry up with the peak over here. So, we'll get a few more of these done. And you can see, the sun is going down for real. It's going down for real. There it goes. Bye, son. Bye-bye. Hope you all have had a great day. Peace.